Good morning, good afternoon, good evening whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome along to another match day experience on the channel. Before we get into that though, just want to say an absolutely massive thank you to all of your reaction, comments, likes, views on the videos recently, especially the podcast ones. They've been going down really, really well, so that does mean a lot. Thank you so much for that. But anyway, today's game it is Clayden versus Henley. It is SIL action once again. Here is the current league table. Now look, there's only four games being played, but... People have been requesting the league tables pop up on the screen. So Henley are going to be wanting to bounce back from their defeat on the weekend against Bilderstone, but they're still sitting in third at the moment on four games. Claydon have only played the two games, but they are yet to win. They're going to be wanting to get their campaign off to, I don't know, off to a winning start today. It is going to be a great contest. Two teams who want to play football in the right way in this league. I'm really looking forward to it. Everyone seems to think this is going to be a great game of football. So fingers crossed it can live up to the hype. But yeah, I'm about to... Uh, well, actually, I've got about three hours to go before I have to leave the house. So I've got plenty of time. Sit down with a coffee and then we're going to get going. So yeah, I will see you in a few moments when we head off to Clayton. So here we are, I have arrived. Glorious day, absolutely spectacular day. And I forgot my sun lotion, so you know I'm gonna get burnt. So if at the end of this video I'm very red, you know why? 20 odd degrees, perfect conditions. This pitch is looking absolutely superb. Proper, proper facilities here at Clayton. I love, I love it every single time I come here. Uh, the pitch is looking fantastic, as I said. The players are out warming up at the moment. We've got about half an hour or so to go before the game. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I just hope it can live up to kind of the expectations that everyone has been talking about during the week. Two teams that want to play it the right way. We know that. We know we know what both teams are about. But hopefully we can see that on the pitch with lots of goals, plenty of attacking movement. That's what non league's all about. We want to see it. This is what we've come to see. So yeah, I'll uh, bring you some footage when training is finished and the guys are ready and room to go for this game. I'm so pumped, so ready for this one. It's been a horrible week at work, it's been really tough, and I needed this. Let's do it. Get off! season don't even need to have a contest that was unbelievable one nil and literally just like that straight from the kickoff win the ball pressing up high straight away two nil unbelievable there's been very even game up to this point but uh yeah now find ourselves two nil up So a bit of just a simple ball over the top to be honest. Um, yeah, got inside well, finished well, but yeah, it shouldn't be allowing that bounce over the top. <laughs> Come on. 
Yeah. So half time, not really sure how I'm going to be able to condense that into uh, <laughs> into a watchable content. There's so much action going on. It's been a good half to be honest, up until the first goal that went in. It was quite an even game. I thought both teams had really good chances, keepers making some good saves, etc. But game just completely changed on an absolute world of a strike on the edge of the area. How the hell we got the technique to get it back kind of around it and then into that top corner, I don't know. And then straight away from the kickoff, pressing really high. They make, you know, they're, they're, they're causing a mistake, but then to take it past about three players and then put it into the bottom corner is a, is a great goal. Um, and then, you know, they just kind of have to manage the game a little bit, but they kind of press up high in terms of a defensive line. Ball goes over the top, and then he just coolly slots into the bottom corner and makes a 2-1, and we've got a game on our hands now. But um, I think if Claydon kind of had more of a focal point up top, I think they'd be they'd be causing more issues in this game. But they are doing well, and it's a good game. I've really, really enjoyed it so far, so hopefully more of that in the second half. Yeah, 100% the penalty. Um, yeah, it was a nice bit of play down on the right hand side that uh, won the penalty, but yeah, it was a penalty. Great finish though, 3 1. So there we have it, full time. Uh, just as I've tweeted out, basically uh, crucial goals at crucial moments. It, that is effectively the deciding factor in this game. Uh, very even up until the first goal. It's an absolute wonder goal. Um, just a little bit annoyed that I didn't quite capture the exact moment um, before he hit the ball. Like I've got the bit where he's got it and connected with it, but I just needed a little bit of like, you know, maybe a split second beforehand. Um, but then from the kickoff, they win the ball back straight away. They press. He takes it past three or four players. Coolly slots into the bottom corner. It's two nil. Um, they get themselves, you know, Clayton get themselves back into the game. Make it two one before half time, which is great. You just then wanting them to push on and really make a, a really make a game of this. But to give away a penalty at that point, the third goal as soon as that went in for Henley when it made it three one, that was it. Game done, and they never really kind of looked like getting back into it. Um, but yeah, for Henley's perspective, obviously good for them to bounce back uh, after the weekend's result. Uh, whereas from you know from a Clayton perspective, still looking for that first win, but they won't be panicking. They're a good football team. They just need to uh, they just need to get that first win under their belt, and they'll be absolutely fine. But two teams that played football in the right way today. It was played at a good pace. It was really really enjoyable to watch. So thank you very much for you guys. Um, for providing a fantastic game of football to watch on a Saturday afternoon, which you can't really ask for more than that. But if you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe for more non-league content. You guys have been amazing. We've got an interview and ground hopping video, plus the podcast is going to be back this week. So there's plenty of content to keep you guys entertained with. Thank you very much. Until next time, mate. Adios.